Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to be talking about the new collection of ColourPop The Garden and I created this look using only that whole collection. I hope you guys like it and for those of you who doesn't know me, my name is Jenny. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you stay until the end and without any more delay, let's get going. Okay guys, so we are back now and this time we are going to be talking about the new collection of ColourPop. I've been having this box since August 13, which is the day that ColourPop decided to do a restock on Sailor Moon. And then that's the day I got this box also. And yeah. So ColourPop decided to do this a week before and then come up with the great idea of saying Hey, we are having a restock of Sailor Moon's. I'm like, okay, I just spent a lot of money on this whole collection Now you come up with another one. I of course I ended up getting Sailor Moon. I couldn't say no I have to get that collection also Anyway, so I've been so lazy lately, but I finally decided to sit down and open this box and finally do a review on this one because it's such a cute packaging i need to use this i have a lot of makeup that is sitting in my vanity table and i'm like okay i need to stop and also the brands need to give us a break because i am not in a peer list so i have to spend money to get these collections and i think i already have enough that i need to sit down and use before they expire and i need to a hole of myself because I am being doing really bad <laughs> every time they have, there's a new collection I want that and I don't think that is healthy I have a very bad obsession with makeup and the worst thing is that I'm not even using it I just want to have the whole makeup sitting in there looking pretty I don't even want to touch it but anyways we are going to be open this box today and we're gonna start like discussing about the whole brand and the whole collection and we're gonna try it on our eyes and create some nice look and then I'm gonna give you guys my honest opinion about the whole collection okay so let's get ready so to begin this is how the box looks like and I get a postcard and the postcard says tropic like it's hot this is what the whole collection looks like it has four bundles of blushes that includes a lipstick I think it's a new formula for that one and also include four jelly shadows uh, also comes with a soul dog glow oil and now glee the other thing is like a mist like a mini mist um also comes with crunchies which i really dig that i have a lot of those crunchies i love that because i like to wear ponytails all the time so i like having those crunchies anyway so let's just get everything out of the box and let's just see the product try it on and then we can just discuss about the whole collection so now that we got the boxes out of the big box i have four packagings in here for the bundles of a lip gloss or lip oil lots lip oil I think that's the name of the new formula and then we have also a press powder blushes I have a set of four bundles of blushes different color blushes with the lipstick um, this is the box for the mist the mini mist kit that I got and also this is the Soul Body Glow Oil Kit and this is the uh, mini palette that it comes here isn't this cute? I actually had three crunchies and these are like uh, velvet it feels so nice and soft it's so cute and it has the color matching the whole box of the collection see? Hmm, very smart um, and also comes with these uh, four jelly matte shadows we are going to get them out of their box so we can see the colors and then we're gonna do some swatches and try it, everything out and see how it looks first we're gonna do the blushes the first box I'm going to open it has a name and it's called New Leaf. The blush name is Desert Rose and this is how it looks. It's a tiny compact which is really cute and it will be so 
easy to put it in your purse and okay so this is what it looks the lipstick it's like a gloss so i guess it's called look lip oil this is what the blush look like we're gonna try here it's a clear shimmering color it's more like you can use it for like glossy filling it's actually very nice Let's try it and do swatch in here so that's how it will look it's right here hopefully you guys can see that there's a little bit of shimmering on that and it's a close and this are the uh, blush i don't really want to touch these because it looks so beautiful but i had to do a swatch on that and it will look kind of like this so when we put it on the hand it kind of looks like that guys can see that it will be interesting but um it has a really natural rosy color it will look so pretty if you want to have your, your cheek to look as natural as possible so this one is going to be one of my favorite ones because it's that uh, the type of colors that i really like a lot uh the gloss i may use it every single day just to keep my lips moisture because my lips are always super 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 dry if you see the boxes have different designs so these are the two designs this is that we already reviewed and this is the one we're reviewing next so here's the other one and on top of that each one has a different name these two are basically the same but it says on this one says aloe there get it <laughs> anyway so the name of this uh, blush is Saren of my heart and the lip gloss is um it's called blossom out Ooh, i love blossoms you guys love the cherry blossoms green is also the same the same packaging but this is the color and then the and again the same another little lipstick or gloss so the next one is called her appeal <laughs> this name is and they're so cute so this is the other one and this is kind of like a wine type of color actually it's called whole nine yards and again another lipstick or gloss <laughs> okay so the next box is uh called bloom together powder blush is called night bloom and the lipstick is called rain check oh wow like rain <laughs> oh this is actually cute it's like a lilac color it's just so cute it's very pretty um uh, we're not gonna do this swatch on this one because i really don't want to destroy them that much but so for the people who like purple blush this is so pretty that like, you're pretty gonna like this um and also a lipstick or more like a lip oil i wonder why they call it lip oil it's like a lip lip gloss so now we have here the jelly mush shadows and the name for this one is she grew uh this one is called sawaro no idea what that is and then we have this one is a uh, desert day and this one is called sage bundles so now we're gonna open these the packages are so cute though the color so nice i love these colors okay so this is what it looks like it has like a little bit of silver inside and with a little bit of brown so we're gonna try oh gosh this is so pretty we're gonna try it in the hand of course it's never gonna look the same once you try it on the eye so it's like that's very shimmery it's like a, a brown color when you see it but then when you put it on your hand it just turned all silver it's so beautiful so this one is called sage bundle it's really nice the color too um now let's do chi grow which is this one and this one is more like a rose gold type of a color with a little bit of more rose color and really has a nice oh yes it is like a rose gold i'm actually very surprised because the formula and this one feels so nice and smooth like very pretty it's blending so nice so the next one i am going to try is called dessert days and it's another pinkish color but it looks like this one has some silver or metallic oh yes it's so pretty so these are the other colors that you guys can see that's the one that i just swatched it's called desert days and that is such a pretty color the next one and the last one it's called salado like an orange color with golden shimmering and this is how it looks look at how gorgeous these colors are and all the pigment pigmentation it's so beautiful and very very uh shimmering 
I like the whole formula of these swatches. They're just so pretty. So now we're gonna come back and try the soul body and the and see the the mini bottles of the mini mist kit and try some swatches from the palette. Next is the uh, mini mist kit, which is like this. We are going to try because one is called energizing mist and the other one is illuminating. So this one has like a uh, like glitter and this is also for raid so basically I got two different brands in here one is for raid and the other one is body soul or soul body the whole job of this one is to keep your skin hydrated and also it can give you a glow a little bit of glow you can just put it on your face like that and don't need to like wait until you put your makeup so this is like a little bit of moisturizer too um, now we we're going to open the soul body and this is how the bottle looks like we're gonna have to try it right now I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be for the body to give you a little bit of glow so we are going to like put it right here and they are I think I put too much but it's giving this nice tan color to look at this arm that thing and look at this arm it has such a nice beautiful glow look at the arm looks so pretty and also gives you like a like a natural tan oh so pretty but look at this arm there's nothing here and compared to this one so pretty i really like this i think i will be trying this a lot last is the eyeshadow palette i know everybody wants to see these so to start the eyeshadow palette looks like this it has like a 3d feeling you can actually feel the whole details on the palette so when you open a palette it looks like this these are the colors if you can see more clearly there you go this one doesn't have a mirror which is really good i don't like having a mirror because it will be so easy to just fold it like that and you can just hold it with this way with your hand and not have to worry about holding the whole palette like this and having the mirror here which will be good right you'll like having a palette with mirrors by the way this palette has 15 eyeshadows which include metallics include by matter colors include some shimmery ones so we're gonna try now this one that is called third eye we're gonna try best buds and also we're gonna try much off and uh, we are going to do the don't leave that's a really nice bronzy type of color and we are going to try synergy for this one don't leave it's kind of hard to get the product with your finger so we're probably gonna have to try something different but the other ones are really nice so no problem in that um, but every eyeshadow works in a different way so this are how the colors looks like let me just do those in my hand so if you guys see these are the colors like this so far they're so good now we're gonna try and do it on our eyes and now I'm gonna come back with just my eyebrows and my eyes already set and my whole skin prime okay so we are back we have our eyes ready I'm going to start by using these uh, color cold prickle please which is this nice nude kind of color it gives you the vibes of a color from like when you're in the desert that's basically what this color is I'm gonna use a fluffy brush like this from Morphe and I am going to basically use it like a setting powder and I'm going to bring it all the way here to the uh, top so we don't have any crease it's a nice color it's a very nice transitional color you know it's probably gonna cause you a lot of anxiety but I am trying to get the whole eye done and that way we don't have any crease any concealer crease in here this color is so pretty I don't see any problems with the color it is uh, it is having a lot of fallout but at this point I think that is so normal now like it doesn't really matter if you see a lot of fallout no eyeshadow palette from any brand is gonna be perfect that will be a dream come true but if it's not like it is right now I think that it's there's something wrong with the formula that's how I feel so now that we have the the eyes are ready the transition is ready 
we are going to use this color that is called over the rainbow <laughs> and we're gonna put it on the crease of the eye we're gonna bring it all the way here to give it a, a little bit more of intense color so we're gonna use this color called root them up it's kind of like a dark olive green color mixed with the brown and we are going to use it in the outer V. so we're gonna have it like this just gonna do this here the thing i see is this color is not really blending nicely with the other color let's see we're gonna have to do these tamp it out we're gonna have to use a blending brush see a lot of patchy spots in here with this color let's just once you start trying to blend it out, it kind of dies the color. So we're gonna leave it like that and then we're gonna come back and blend it out more. Okay, so we're gonna use the green color that is called Best Buds. Best Buds. And then we're gonna use the Sucker For You and we're gonna mix it up with the other one. So first, let's do the green one. We're not doing a crack crease, so I'm going to use actually a brush, which see this one and oh, this is actually nice it's actually picking up on the um, eyeshadow so we're gonna do it right here this is such a nice color I'm gonna keep bringing these and mix it out with the uh, other color I'm gonna try it also with the finger it might have a better it might be blending out better if I just use my finger than just using the brush but in the meantime I am going to use my finger instead because I'm not getting the color I want. Oh yeah, there he is. So basically what you need to do it is you have to use your finger so you can get all the color you want. Okay, so now that we are done with the green, now we're gonna use the color coal sucker for you. But what we're gonna do, this color we're gonna put it on the, in the center of the eye lip. Look at that, of course we gotta fix it up, but it seems like these are blending very well when you do it with your finger. Okay, so now we're gonna use this uh, yellow match shadow uh, in Chi Grown, because I really like this one. It's like, a, like we said, it's like a golden rose. So we're gonna use it and we're gonna just like blend it out at the top in between these, the green. In between the green and the other color we use okay so now we have the eye completed we're gonna leave it like this okay so now that we have our eyes completely done we still have to put eyelashes okay guys so we are back I decided to uh, do the eyes upside camera so it wouldn't be showing the whole process um, now we are going to use the blush. It has a lot of fallout, a lot. So we're gonna do this one. Really love this one. So we're gonna bring it right here so we can look like we were on the sun and got burned. Our skin looks red. So when we smile, we can have a little bit of color here on our cheekbones. I hope you guys can see that. It looks so nice. I like this color. I think we use it every single day. Okay, and so for the lips, I am going to use these colors also from Colourpop. It's called Near Me, and it's from the collaboration of Colourpop and Zoella. And I really like this color. I wish I would have got a second one because it's a really nice color. Okay, so this is the color. And now we're gonna use the little glitter that is called James Zen. So gener Generation Zen, I guess. I'll take it as that. So we are just going to put it in the middle. So now that we're done with the look, we are going to use this and we're just going to put it right here because it looks so cute and we want to be extra today. And then we're just going to spread it. It looks so nice and it gives you like a nice 
glowing so now this is the final look i hope you guys like it i really enjoyed doing this look as you guys can see uh it was something simple my opinion about this uh, collection to be honest with you i have a lot of issues with the fallout some of the eyeshadows don't uh blend really good there's a lot of those that are very very patchy i guess the consistency and the palette is not there especially when with the matte colors the shimmerings are good but with the shimmerings you have to use or the metallics ones you have to use your finger in order for you to get in here i didn't try with getting the setting sprayed on the brush maybe that will work differently i don't know i had to try that um the colors are so pretty i really like this palette it was fun it's a nice uh concept it makes me feel like i was uh working it makes me feel like i was working on my garden it is really nice it gave me that type of vibe other than that i think the problem with this product is there's no consistency on the formulas that matters they are so patchy and little talky as for the shimmerings they have a nice finish but i feel like the glitter cam comes out, out a lot when you start blending with the brush now for the metallics i think they're perfect but you still need to use your fingers so you can get the whole like the whole uh, picture basically to activate the whole formula and other than that everything else is fine I like the jelly shadows those are really always fun to use they dry really quick though so you have to do it really fast if you want to do them uh, I like the soul of a body and it gives you a nice natural glow I think that's the whole point of these and I like the the two mists, um, this one smells so yummy, it's so good. This one is kind of like giving me a little burning sensation in the skin right now that I put it on. I don't know. Um, maybe it's because I, it's too hot in here and I'm sweating. I, the makeup is acting in a weird way. I still had to try the other three bundles of uh, blush. I don't know how they're gonna look because I only tried one. And I still had to try the other three jelly shadows. Um, I still need to try the rest of the palette because I only play around with a couple of those uh, eyeshadows and overall I will say that if you want to give it a try go for it it's a nice uh, collection and uh, other than that I think it's beautiful it was a very beautiful collection I really like it I going to keep on using this and give it a second chance hopefully everything is better maybe i did something wrong with my eyes i didn't prime it the right way um maybe i should try a different primer it will work better we'll see uh, but uh so far everything is good i really like it like i say those are the only things this is my honest opinion of what i think of this collection i hope you guys like it my favorite one of my favorite things were the scrunchies and as you can see, I'm wearing one already. That's because I really love scrunchies. But yeah, this one was really cute, the color velvety. And that was really smart for from ColourPop to add these scrunchies in here. Um, and you get three of those, which is really nice. I think every um, when you buy three, it's like seven bucks or 10 bucks. I don't know, depending on where you're getting those. But it's actually good. The collection was really fun and I really like it. I'm gonna keep on trying these and that's it for this review you guys i hope you guys like it and i i and i will see you on the next video thank you don't forget to subscribe